Hi. Um, I'm Jennifer Weil from Surrey Public Libraries. I'm the manager of information services. Our fun fact is Surrey Libraries is getting a ninth branch. The branch will have some unique characteristics. It will be an integrated location with the city of Surrey and one of the largest passive house buildings in North America. So, so I'm talking about lynda.com and I'm curious, does it, because I didn't get a whole lot of information being the TBD about which aspect I should talk about, but who doesn't have lynda.com? Okay. Well, there goes like the first part of my presentation, so you know. <laughs> <laughs> You're aware of how many courses they have, so I'll just sort of stream through this and uh, probably end a bit early. So um, we got lynda.com in 2015, but didn't really start rolling it out until 2016. And we did a PIA on lynda.com. And thank you, co-op, because we are using your server until our API is finished. We're working on an API and then a SIP2 wrapper <coughs> so that we can authenticate things actually in Surrey and, and not have to route them to the co-op. But we appreciate that. Um, let's see, I know what kind of software it is. I've spoken to some other libraries about programming. So the one thing I guess everybody may or may not be aware of, well, there's two things. One, there's an app. Is everybody aware that you can use the app as a library? Mm -hmm. Yeah, our rep told us that we couldn't use the app as a library. So then I, I had a nice conversation with Jennifer and found out that we could, in fact, and there's some really great instructions on, on NVDPL site. Um, and uh, let's see, the other thing is just the variety. I'm just continually amazed at the variety of courses that they have. I mean, obviously they're mainly business and software skill, but they're the creative courses. Um, we've done an AV club at one of our branches and um, we use the use lynda.com just to supplement because there's all kinds of uh, technical things that you'll come across when you're trying to transfer from analog to digital and, and um, it's really handy and also the fact that you can watch the videos in, in segments so you don't have to like sit through an entire course like you would if you were doing a YouTube course um, and that makes it quite easy and, and they're, they all love it now. We introduced it to the RCMP at the city of Surrey and or, or the Surrey RCMP and we also introduced it to the city because there were no restrictions on whether or not people had to live there. So we gave them a stat class and they're all using it. Our card usage went up when we did that. It's been quite popular for staff and public use. Uh, in terms of other programming, we haven't done a whole lot around it. And that, oh, that was the second thing I wanted to mention was, as you probably know, I mean, you're not supposed to show any of the videos at all in the library. It's like considered a public viewing, and we have the same rights as individual users, which are not many for public viewing, as Jennifer and I were discussing. Um, so you can't even show a portion. So I've emailed their rep to see if they're at some point going to have a kind of an institutional terms of agreement rather than the same individual, because it would be really lovely to show people little clips of, of what things are happening on Linda and how fantastic it is without breaking the terms and violating the contract. So uh, we have 100 seats. Um, and I, I have not figured out the turnaways. I'm not sure, has anybody else figured out how the turnaways work for Linda? No, okay. Um, another thing I've asked about, so I can put that on the licensing group. Um, cataloging, we have not cataloged the courses. Um, our collection services department was, I mean, it was kind of like a Zinio on steroids, except instead of dropping, they're like continually adding. So we felt that it was too labor intensive at the beginning, but eventually I would like these discoverable in the catalog, and I'm sure Amy agrees, who's sitting over there. Um, also, I've heard from other libraries that there's problems getting the MARC records uh, from Linda at all, I think. That was Burnaby. I don't know if they're here. Um, we did get MARC records. Uh, they weren't, we would have had to do a lot of work on them. So again, very labor intensive. Um, when we started, people, the uptake was amazing. I guess because Linda has such a brand with it. 
Uh, we have 750 approximately logins per month a couple months after we started, and it stayed steady, and now we're up to about 850, so that's after a year and a half. Um, we promote it at, at all the outreaches where it makes sense, in sort of uh, safe houses and women's shelters, and people are thrilled. Uh, we have about between 250 and 300 job seekers coming to our desk per week asking questions about jobs and, and finding jobs and job-related skills. And we found that this resource has been invaluable. Um, and people are super excited about it. When I talk to staff, they're excited about it. When I get feedback from the public, there's excitement. I mean, we launched a new website recently that had no feedback whatsoever. <laughs> but lynda.com is like a brand and people are excited. But sometimes no feedback is can be good too. It, it was like, Otherwise. So, uh, yeah, it's just been a significant uptake. And um, just on a personal note, I'm doing classes in business administration, and their business selection uh, is incredible. Like, I, I haven't done algebra in, in 30 years. And so I feel like Linda.com and Learning Express really saved me and, and got me through the programs because I have a total arts brain. and. Things like economics and finance were like Greek, but uh, Linda has a wonderful uh, business skills area, like a whole subset. And of course, you know, you can take those paths, which will sort of collate all the courses for you. Um, and that's really quite handy. Um, let's see. Yeah, just wonderful feedback from staff. Um, in terms of the, those in the workforce wanting to keep their jobs or improve their skills, to get a better to get a better job, it really seems to have impact on people. That was one of the responses that came from staff. Um, I, I don't know what everybody else's experience is, but um, and I also whoops don't know how much time I have left. So what I might do is just say two more things. One is the marketing we've done all our own. We didn't find that Linda's uh, posters were really that great for our community. They were a bit too meta. Or, or just, yeah, not colorful enough. So uh, when the documentaries came out with all the creative artists and designers, and those seemed really quite wonderful. So we did a whole slew of creative posters, which we're very happy to share with anybody using the, the Linda logo that you have to use. Um, and to quote Jay, who asked me to do this, and because one always loves quoting Jay, He's such a quotable guy. <laughs> we were skeptical when we first signed up, but after a few months, there was a lot of usage, and we never looked back. <laughs> so, um, yeah, and I did canvas a lot of libraries on a couple groups. I didn't get anybody who was doing a lot of programming specifically around Linda. There, uh, you guys do something, and people mention it in job search, and people also mention that. Um, computer skills, but it's slightly more advanced. So again, combo with Learning Express is nice. Um, and yeah, I, I think that it could be used as a kind of a book club type resource. Maybe people watch a video on something that they're all interested in and come back and, and discuss what they've seen. But if I do find out anything great about possibly being able to screen them in the library, I will share that information. And does anybody have any questions? I have a question about the app. Um, have you been able to successfully use it with um, the yeah. Yes. We've, we've yes. tried and it just doesn't seem to work for us. Yes, we have. And I can't believe like how gullible I felt for taking the reps. Uh, you don't know you can't use the app. But once I had spoken with Jennifer, I tried it. Um, but, and it's just a bit roundabout. That's why I mentioned that North Van District has some nice instructions on their website. Because you have to choose organization. And then you actually have to go into your library's website, I believe, and then you're putting in your, your card and your uh, your password, and then you can go in on the app. Similar to like registering on Zinio, I guess, and then using the app. Anything else? All right, thanks.